I'm here to demonstrate the landmark five course pattern, the six and 11 inch. I'm also gonna demonstrate how we flash a skylight. And, I'm, and at the same time, I'm gonna demonstrate the uh, closed cut alternate valley. Um, as you can see, we got our winter guard ran down our valley, our 36 inch winter guard in the valley. Um, we wanna make sure we get our shingles 12 inches out of the valley. We don't wanna have any joints inside the valley like this. So I'm going to demonstrate how we how we do that. Um, and we also want to make sure that we keep our our nails at the minimum of six inches out of the valley. Okay. So as you see here, this this shingle is a little close to the valley. So how we how we get away from that is we cut a shingle into thirds. So this is about 13 and a quarter, and we run it, the small shingle out here. And then we run our full shingle. Minimum of 12 inches. 12 inches up the valley. And this is the first part of the, the alternate Close cut valley. I've hit, hit a skylight, so now I'm going to demonstrate how we uh, flash around a skylight. Now I'm going to demonstrate how we put on the ice and water shield or winter guard. Um, there's two different ways that you can do this. The way that we like to do it is we'll roof up second to last course and then we wrap it on top so that if it does leak, it'll hit the, the uh, winter guard and run onto the shingle. Some guys will put it on before they get this far and just stick it directly to the deck. I've got it stuck to the, to the shingle and to the curb. And I'm gonna kinda just do these corners like I do my flashing. Okay, and then the next step we do is we uh, put on our shingle. And we be real careful not to cut the underlayment. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to continue uh, around with the ice and water shield. I left these nails loose so I could lift the shingle and get that under there. So it's stuck directly to the deck. Okay, we got it nice and tight around the curb so that when we put our step flashing on, it'll lay there good. Okay, now that you see that I got my uh, skylight wrapped in winter guard, I went ahead and installed my front flashing, and now I'm gonna uh, demonstrate installing the step flashings and continue up with my uh, five course pattern. I've continued on, I've worked my, uh, my five course pattern up the skylight. It's just like doing a sidewall, shingle, step flashing, shingle, step flashing, up as high as I can go um, before I put my back pan in. So what I'm going to do is come over here and continue my, my five course pattern up the skylight and I'm also going to deal with our closed cut alternate valley at the same time. We've gone up and around the skylight, got our step flashings in, got our winter guard behind the, uh, the skylight before we set our, our, our back pan. And then one thing, as you can see I've done here, is normally what we do is we take this, cut it at an angle down about an inch and a half, 
so the skylight will go on and we wrap the corner just like that and then the skylight will go on the front so as you can see here I put my winter guard down it's on top of my flashing in case water somehow gets behind it and then I left the uh, these two shingles a little bit loose so when I slip that back pan in there we're good to go so we'll go ahead and tack that down make sure it's good and tight on the corner and then I'll finish nailing my shingle my back pan sticking up over my curb a little bit so what I'm gonna do is so my skylight I'll sit on there good and tight because I'm just gonna trim this down a little bit as you can see we got we got our back pan in we got up roofed up and around it how we should have and then one small detail I wanted to show you is we put a a uh, certainty swift start across the uh, the back of the back pan that'll help the shingles stick down um, and as you can see we had a little custom back pan made that uh, has a little little uh, cricket back there so water don't uh, pull up and then we're just going to continue on through and I'll probably do a little custom cutting there too okay so now that we've finished the skylight now we're I'm gonna uh, finish showing you the rest of the uh, the alternate close cut valley um, first thing we want to do is we're gonna work to the valley and we're gonna weave the first shingle as I've done here and then we're gonna snap a line two inches out of the valley for our bleeder st strip but before we put the bleeder strip in we need to run two inches of mastic down the valley as I've done here and then we just uh, take our shingle and be careful not to pass the first shingle. Once we're done with that, then we're going to start roofing into the valley. And again, we're going to be careful to keep six minimum of six inches out of the valley. And then we just continue all the way up. As you can see there, I'm trying to keep my six inches out of the valley with my nails. Okay, so there we go. There's the, uh, the alternate closed cut valley. It looks sweet. <laughs> 